United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Marsh Shores. These are daily announcements for Friday, April 13, 2018. I'm Chris. I'm Tyler. Senors, today is the last day to sign up for an addition time slot if you are interested in being the 2018 commencement speaker. Please see Mrs. Crass in room 305. Auditions will be held April 16th, 17th, and 18th in room 305. Only students who sign up in advance will be permitted to audition. Sign up as early as you can so you have plenty of time to prepare your speech. Seniors, Johnson's representatives will be at school during lunch on Friday, April 20th to deliver your graduation products, caps, and gowns. Your balance must be paid in full. No checks can be accepted on the day of delivery, cash or money order only. If you have any questions, please contact 1-800-Johnson's prior to delivery. Seniors, Mr. Drosky is collecting senior pictures and baby pictures for the senior slideshow. Please send a copy of both to droskit at monoshores.net. If you want to use the same picture as the yearbook, you only need to send a baby photo. Digital copies are preferred, but we can scan baby photos as necessary. Photos are due by Friday, April 27th. Seniors, lists of eligible gold, silver, and bronze honor cord recipients have been posted on the LMC front window in the lobby. Please check for correct spelling of your name. If your name is spelled incorrectly, please see Mrs. Muth or Ms. Brainerd in the LMC by the end of the day, Friday, April 20th. If your name is not listed and you believe you qualify and or are placed in the wrong cord category, please see one of them by April 20th as well. On record payments of $7 is to be paid to the LMC by Monday, May 14th, cash or check payable to MSHS. Attention seniors, new scholarships are in the counseling office, Ethnic Diversity Alliance $500, Sailor Classic Athletic Scholarship $1,500, Muskegon County Chapter MARSP MEA Retired $1,000. See the announcements page for more details and due dates. Juniors and seniors, representatives from these college and military branches will be here in the next couple of weeks. Monday, Michigan Tech at 9.15 and the Army National Guard at 12.30. Monday, April 23rd, MCC at 12.30. Stop in the counseling office to sign up if you're interested. Student Senate is returning the posters from the chalkboard project. If you want your poster, please stop by the Hanish and Jim lobby during either lunch. Any posters not collected today will not be saved. Spanish Club is hosting a kickback night at El Tapatio next Tuesday, 17th. Please come out and enjoy some delicious Mexican food while supporting the club. They will receive 15% of all sales that evening. The next meeting for Tabletop Gaming Club is Monday. We'll be playing Ticket to Ride. See you all there. Promise Saturday, April 21st from 7.30 to 10.30 p.m. At Fricano's, you must have your student ID to purchase and enter the dance. All fines must be paid before purchasing a ticket. Check fine lists outside LMC, main office, and athletic offices. Guest forms are available in the main office. You must have them completed and returned by Wednesday, April 18th. Cost is $26 for a ticket, and it will be for sale online starting at 3 p.m. today. Check your school email for instructions to purchase online tickets. Cash sales during lunch in the Hanish and Gym Lobby are next Wednesday through Friday. If you have questions about ticket sales, you can contact Mr. Higgs at higgsk at motorshores.net. The chest turned back to its normal position. Keep the pressures going until help arrives. Push hard, push fast. Can you save someone? What? Um, Taylor was like actually safe, so I like an airport. Breathing. Scan the chest for 5 to 10 seconds. If there is no sign of breathing, or the person is only gasping, begin to move the out of the way. Put the hood down the center of the chest. Make sure the seat is safe. Push hard. Making sure the chest moves down at least two inches. Push chest at a rate of 100 to 120 compressions per minute. After each compression, let the chest turn back to its normal position. Keep the pressures going until help arrives. Push hard and push fast. Okay, that's the second. Push hard, making sure the chest moves down at least two inches. Push fast at a rate of 100. Can you, tell, wait, can you tell me your name? Kevin Richards. Okay, can you tell me why you think learning CPR is crucial? 
Um, why well, I think it's crucial? Yeah, why do you think it's important? Um, I think it's important because just like if somebody collapses in front of you and you just sitting there don't know what to do, it's important if you know how to do that. But if you don't know what to do, then just call 911 and get help. Can you tell me some things that you learned today? Uh, I learned how to do CPR. <laughs> Um, like, did you know how to do anything in CPR before you? Nope, I didn't. I wish I did, though. but uh, I didn't. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Shout for help. Tell whoever comes to phone 911 and get an AED. Check for breathing. Scan the chest for five to ten seconds. If there's no sign of breathing, or the person is only gasping, begin compressions. Move clothing out of the way. Put the heel of one hand on the center of the chest. Put the heel of your other hand on top. Follow along with the drumbeat. Push hard, making sure the chest moves down at least two inches. Push fast at a rate of 100 to 120 compressions per minute. After each compression, let the chest come back to its normal position. Keep comp this is Sailor Country. We do everything with pride. Today's track meet at Reese Puffer has been postponed due to the weather. The next meet will be held next Friday instead. There will be a track practice today after school for all team members. JV Baseball defeated Montague 4-0 as two pitchers teamed up to throw a no-hitter. Grant Hilland was credited with the victory. He allowed zero hits and zero runs over six innings, striking out 12 and walking zero. Emmons threw one inning and relief out of the bullpen. The team scattered 10 hits. Brady Rose, Sobish, and Jacob Librant each had multiple hits. The team stole seven bases during the game. Varsity Baseball defeated Montague 10-5. Counter Valley picked up the win on the mound, striking out six and limiting Montague to three hits through four scoreless innings. Austin Flowers led the offensive attack with three hits, while Matt Martin, Connor Bellinger, Colby Trominger, Ryan Gillings, and Tyler Warren all added two hits apiece. The Sailors improve 4-0 and will host Spring Lake for a non-conference doubleheader on Saturday beginning at 10 a.m. Be there. Varsity softball swept a doubleheader from Forest Hills Eastern 15-0 and 17-1. Game 1, Emma Lynn picked up the win on the mound, striking out 5 and allowing 2 hits. Shelby Savakul and Riley Whaler each had 3 hits, while Taylor Dew hit a grand slam. Game 2, Warren Patterson, Patterson pitched the win, striking out 3, allowing 2 hits. Ellery Rose was 3-for-3 three three with 3 RBI, while Grace Hall and Veronica Kastelik each belted home runs. Riley Whaler was 2-for-2. Two two. Great job, ladies. Varsity Golf finished second out of six teams in the first OK Black Jamboree at Mines Golf Course. Eric Hannes led the way with a 39. Today in sports, Varsity Golf hosts the Mona Shores Jamboree. Freshman baseball travels to Forest Hill Central for a doubleheader, and girls lacrosse travels to Comstock Park tomorrow. Varsity Tennis travels to East Kentwood Invitational. Varsity Golf travels to Zealand East Invitational. Freshman baseball Travels to Montague, Round Robin, Varsity Baseball hosts Spring Lake for a doubleheader. JV Baseball travels to Spring Lake for a doubleheader. The soccer teams travel to Grand Haven. Please check with your coaches for any cancellations. Where the Sidewalk Ends by Shel Silverstein There is a place where the sidewalk ends and before the street begins. And there the grass grows soft and white. And there the sun burns crimson bright. And there the moon bird rests from his flight to cool in the peppermint wind. Let us leave this place where the smoke blows black and the dark street winds and bends. Past the pits where the asphalt flowers grow, we shall walk with a walk that is measured and slow and watch where the chalk white arrows go to the place where the sidewalk ends. Yes, we will walk with a walk that is measured and slow and will go where the chalk white arrows go. For the children they mark, and the children they know, the place where the sidewalk ends. That's all we have for you today, sailors. Have a great Friday.